the mahi or mahi mahi or dolphin or dorado or whatever you want to call it is a really exciting fish to go after. They jump a lot, they're hungry feeders, they're schooling fish, so a lot of times you'll get one and you can get a bunch up to the boat, you just kind of feed them and keep them there and you just constantly stay hooked up. Today we went out and we started at the 409 hops. It was pretty rough, it was sloppy out there. We looked for birds, couldn't find a whole lot. Um, we had to fly way back, and that was the first thing that got hit. We thought it would be a tuna, but it was a small dolphin. We had one time, we hooked up a dolphin on a ballyhoo, a little uh, skirt in front of it. CNH Wahoo Whacker. And the problem was that rod had gotten too much line put on it. And uh, I forgot to tell Christopher about it. So he's fighting the fish and he gets it almost up and it balled up right in the in the bale or balled up right in the spool. So I couldn't really get it in, didn't want to let it loose so the fish would throw it. So we were going old school. I was hand lining it in, just pulling line in, trying to keep tension, but not too much. And uh, thankfully we got it, we got right up to the boat and we were able to gaff it. We looked for weed lines. Um, it was kind of tough because a lot of it was scattered, so it kept getting tangled in our lines. Finally though, we found a huge patch of sargasm weed. Sargasm weed is great structure, holds a lot of tiny fish. Um, of course, where there's little fish, there'll be bigger fish, and eventually you'll get to the top predators like a dolphin. We started digging up baits, catching little little bait fish and little jacks. Uh, it was interesting because the jacks would hit about anything. I mean, they'd hit just a regular hook, you just pull it in fast, and twitch it. We also had some pilchards that we caught a couple of nights before. So we brought them with us in the live well. When we found the, one of the bigger patches, we started flipping them out there just to see. That's when we had a few nice dolphins come up to the boat. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. Oh, look at that. The cool thing about mahi is that they grow so fast. They had a mahi at the University of Miami in a tank, and on its second birthday, it weighed 70 pounds. These things are growing so fast, they only live to maybe four or five years old. The little schooly dolphin that you catch, maybe only a few months old. Take a kingfish, for example. A 50 pound kingfish may be 20 years old. Yeah. Am I tangled with you or? No, no, no. Okay. All in all, it was a lot of fun on the water. Got a few dolphins, which is cool. Had fun uh, 
trying to get them and getting through it all, all the mishaps and everything. So it was a great day. <laughs>